So today's lesson is conditions of parallelograms, and I want to bring to your attention this right here. This summarizes and is in your lesson the properties of rectangles, the properties of rhombi, and also remember that a square is, the, is a rectangle plus a rhombus. So it says for the properties of a square, combine the properties of a rhombus and a rectangle. There's the rectangle and there's the rhombus. rhombus. And remember that all of them are a parallelogram. So for our first example, it says determine if the conclusion is valid. If not, tell what additional information is needed. So what we know is we know that um, AC, which is this diagonal right here, is congruent to BD. But we do not know anything else. Now, because we don't know anything else, we know that this cannot be a rectangle. We don't know if it is a rectangle or if it's not. Therefore, it is not valid. What other additional information we will need is um, diagonals are perpendicular, all sides are congruent, or, or opposite sides are congruent, and diagonals bisect the angles, which we don't know. In example two, we're asked to plot the coordinates and actually determine the coordinate for D so that it is a square. Now, I want to remind you that remember that a square is all sides are perpendicular or right angles, and the sides are equal. So having said that, that's what we're looking for. So the first thing that we need to make sure of is that the coordinates are the same distance. They are the same distance, but they are not, um, we don't know if they're perpendicular or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot a, B, C, then we're going to count and plot D. So the coordinate of D would be negative 2, negative 2. Having said that, we need to make sure that the slopes are parallel, and we also need to make sure that they are perpendicular, and they are. Remember that you have to go back to what the definition of each special parallelogram is. The third example we are to write and solve an equation to solve the value of x. Is this thing a parallelogram? Is it a rectangle? Is it a rhombus? So we have to make sure that we remember the properties of what each one is. Remember that a rectangle has four right angles, a rhombus has four congruent sides, and a square has both. So the first thing is, is this thing a parallelogram? If it's a rhombus, it has to be a parallelogram. What makes this a rhombus? Well, we know that these blue angles right here have to be equal if this thing is a rhombus. So therefore, 6x equals 5x plus 6x equals 6. Now, if that's the case, we then know that both those angles equal 36. Alternate interior angles are congruent, so that makes these lines parallel. Having said that, that makes this thing a parallelogram. So we know that it is a parallelogram, yes, to the answer to the first question. The second question is, is this a rectangle? Well, we have to prove that this, these are perpendicular, and we cannot do that. We know that this thing is a rhombus because the sides are congruent and the diagonals are perpendicular. Having said that, we know that the diagonals meet at a right angle. So this is a rhombus, this is a parallelogram, but this is not a rectangle. And the last example, it says given that a, AB is congruent to DC, so we know that AD is congruent, I'm sorry, AB, my bad. So I know that AB is congruent to DC, and I know that AD is congruent to BC, so I know that this thing has to be a rectangle. So I have to know that these are perpendicular. So the diagonals have to be congruent and all the corners have to be a right angle. So the question asks me what additional information I need and that's listed right there. Remember, make sure that you go back and look at these examples and if you have questions, you guys should ask.